I'm possessing his body for a reason, to share a story with you. When I was about his age, in order to go to the store, to the school, or even visit my friends, I'd walk through a neighborhood that I knew nothing about, but I still knew how to get where I was going. Well, Trevon was doing the same fucking thing he normally do, minding his own fucking business. And someone decided to stop him and ask him some questions when he should have been minding his own fucking business. And if anything, like most racist folks, why not just call the police on him while he was minding his own business and let the police officers handle it? Even then, that motherfucker would have probably had a better chance. Even if those hookers would have gotten out of their cars and start beating me with their baton and then handcuffed me while I was all bloody and threw me in the car. At least then, I still would have made it and still would have been alive today. But that's neither here or there. He's dead now because someone else decided to fake And he's not been forgotten as far as I'm concerned. That's why he's in this documentary. Trevon Martin still lives in my eyes. Thank <laughs> you.